Hello everyone. While solving the questions from CAT 2020 slot 1, I'll take a standard approach. I'll go through the basic approach first and if there is any shortcut or any method or any way in which we could have solved the question in a much easier manner, then I'll discuss it after discussing the basic method. So let's get on with the question from CAT 2020 slot 1 that you've come for. A very easy question, one which all of you must have solved during your preparation. The reverse method is obviously very easy, but I'll go with the reverse method after I discuss the basic approach. A gentleman decided to treat a few children in the following manner. He gives half of his total stock of toffees and one extra to the first child. So let's say the gentleman starts with X toffees. Then to the first child, he gives half and one extra that means he'll be left with one less than half of the toffees that he started with then half of the remaining stock along with one extra to the second so half of the remaining stock along with one extra to the second what he'll be left with with half of the remaining stock minus one continues giving away in this fashion his total stock exhausts after he takes care of five children so he goes on up to the fifth child every time that you have x you will have it reduce one have it reduce one this process will go on five times This is the equation, but of course, none of us is interested in solving the equation like this. We can note that at every step, if he starts with X chocolates, then he is left with X by 2 minus 1. And we know that in the last step, he was left with 0. So to simplify the problem, we'll go in a reverse order. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to think that he started with A chocolates in the first case. So he's left with A by 2 minus 1. B chocolates in the second case. So he's left with B by 2 minus 1. And so on. E chocolates in the last case. So he was left with E by 2 minus 1. So given that E by 2 minus 1 is 0, e is equal to 2 given that just previous case d by 2 minus 1 would be the number of chocolates left with which he starts the fifth round so that is d by 2 minus 1 is e which is 2 so i solve d by 2 minus 1 is 2 or d is equal to 6 likewise c by 2 minus 1 is 6 that is c is equal to 14 Likewise, b by 2 minus 1 is 14, that is b is equal to 30. And a by 2 minus 1 is 30, that is a is equal to 62. That's the answer. Thank you.